Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this session, we are going to discuss different types of planning system in AI. All these points we will uh, discuss with the help of some examples. So this is our lecture number 50. If you haven't watched previous lectures, you can check the description box. I have already added the link there. So now let's just start this session. So basically we have five types of uh, planning system. The first type is classical planning. Another is conditional planning, contingent planning, probabilistic planning and hierarchical task network that is simply known as HTN planning. Alright, so the first planning we have is classical planning. Basically students, classical planning focuses on everything is known and predictable. This is the tagline of classical planning. It says everything is known and predictable. It assumes a fully observable, a fully observable and deterministic environment. Classical planning always focuses on goal achievement, goal achievement with a clear set of rules. For example, chess playing AI. Chess playing AI is an example of classical planning. Clear? It calculates the best sequence of moves to check mar uh, to checkmate the opponent. The AI knows the entire board configuration and possible moves in advance. Right? Another example of classical planning is your automated scheduling. Automated scheduling. That means AI schedules university exam slots with fixed constraints like no student having two exams at the same time. The environment is predictable here. That is fixed number of subjects, students and rooms. So these two are the example of classical planning system. Remember one more point here. In case of classical planning, it uses predefined actions. It always uses predefined actions to move between different states. Alright everyone, next type of planning we have is conditional planning. So conditional planning focuses on uncertain environment. It always focuses on uncertain environments where not all information is available. It includes if-else conditions. Conditional means it uses some conditions like if-else condition to adjust based on different situations. Let's take an example here. We have so many self-driving cars. So many self-driving cars who can adjust the routes automatically. If there is a heavy traffic, the AI recalculates the route, right? If road conditions change, like a sudden accident, the AI updates its plan dynamically. This is done only with the help of conditional planning. Because it uses uncertain environment, it works in uncertain environment and always uses if-else conditions. I hope you are understanding every point. If you have any doubt, you can share with me in the comment section. I will surely help you all. Another example of conditional planning is AI Smart Assistant. If the user asks what is the weather, then AI checks the location and provides a response. Whenever you ask AI to check weather, so they always tell you, they always ask you to activate your location, right? If the user asks, should I carry an umbrella? So AI uh, decides based on weather predictions. All clear everyone? Next we have is contingent planning. So, contingent planning is very much similar to your conditional planning, but it uses real-time sensor data. 
it always uses real time sensor data to make decisions it is used in robotics it is used in space exploration it is also used in real world navigation real world navigation for example we have mars rover navigation right we have mars rover navigation the rover doesn't uh, doesn't have a complete map of mars it uses cameras and sensors to detect obstacles and change the direction accordingly right if a rock is detected it recalculates a safe path another example can be warehouse robots a robot scan barcodes on packages and sorts them accordingly if a package is misplaced the ai rescans and updates its plan this is done under your cognizant planning that is very much similar to your conditional planning another type we have is probabilistic plan so under probabilistic plan it always uses probability right it always deals with uncertainty and it always deals with uncertainty by assigning probabilities to different actions and their outcomes it is used when it is used when multiple possible results exist for a same action let's say we have a same action we have only one action and it is giving us multiple possible results let's take an example here ai in healthcare for disease prediction we can say a patient has flu like symptoms the ai assigns the probabilities like ai is assigning some probabilities like 50% uh, 50% chance of normal flu flu 30% chance of viral infection and 20% chance of another illness ai suggests tests and recommendation treat, uh, recommends treatments based on these probabilities so here we have only one action that is the little flu of a person and ai is giving us multiple possible results based on the analysis let's take one more example for probabilistic planning the common example here is stock market ai so it predicts stock prices using past trends and probabilities and always ai suggest whether to buy hold or sell based on calculated risks all clear everyone next type we have as hierarchical task network that is htn planning htn planning is basically it breaks a complex task into smaller sub tasks each sub task is planned and executed independently for example robot making coffee robot making coffee here main task we have is making coffee and the sub tasks include boil water add coffee powder pour milk and sugar serve the coffee all these are sub tasks the complete the complex task is making the coffee the robot completes each sub task before moving to the next let's take one more example here a non uh, let's take an example here ai in game development like a non player character in a game has the main task to patrol an area right now and the sub task including 
walk from point one a to point a to b stop and scan the surroundings return to the starting point here in this example ai executes each sub task sequentially to complete the mission this is done in hierarchical task network so let me conclude this session using some key features and examples so the key feature of classical planning is fully observable it is fully observable and deterministic clear next we have is conditional planning so conditional planning always uses if else condition and works with uncertain environments contingent planning means it uses real time senses like warehouse robots we have discussed everything in detail next is probabilistic planning so it always uses probability to handle the uncertainty next we have is hierarchical task network hierarchical means it always breaks down the task into smaller parts so i hope students everything is clear to you if you have any doubt you can share with me in the comment section and if you like the session surely share your feedback with me and if you want me to continue such sessions then also you can share your feedback so thank you so much everyone and all the very best for your examination